Hi guys, <clears throat> this is a reading for Leo for the month of June 2019. This is uh, a reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for love. Okay, so I hope everyone is doing well. Let's see, what messages do we have for Leo for June 2019. If you guys are new, welcome. Thank you for coming. Um, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. That's the Queen of Swords that flipped over there. I'm feeling um, that some of you are either separated from somebody, divorced from someone. And I don't get that. A lot of people will say that this Queen of Swords most of the time is scorned. Um, but I'm not getting scorned with you guys. I'm getting more so that there, there's a lot of things that you've learned. And at this point in your life, I'm feeling like your eyes have been opened to numerous things. And instead of like brushing the truth to the back burner, it's like you're facing it head on. Um, and I'm getting that as an overall energy for you guys, that Queen of Swords energy, that is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So it could be um, one of those signs that is significant to you guys, or that is just the, the, the energy that you guys are taking on at this point, okay? So we're going to get started with a Celtic cross here. Let's see. Leo. The Seven of Pentacles. This is Taurus energy. Um, this is wanting something to culminate. Either this is about a financial investment for um, some of you, or this is all about planting your seeds as far as relationship is concerned, wanting to even, and just to see where it takes you, how it goes. Okay, I'm getting that you're wanting to invest your time in something, um, water it, nourish it, protect it, and see what comes of it. Okay, could be a Taurus you guys are dealing with, with some of you cards are flipping over there. I feel like you guys have a lot to say. Um, there's a lot I feel that is going through your mind currently. What's crossing my Leos? Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. I am getting that you guys feel confident around something that you want to do. And this may be stepping out on faith where something is concerned and I don't know why I'm hearing that word but I'm, I'm getting that as I said with the Queen of Swords I feel like a lot of you have separated broken up divorced and the Nine of Pentacles definitely represent somebody that is single okay trying to acquire um, certain a, a certain what is it Something for yourself is not being selfish, but I feel like right now you're feeling more focused on you. Um, but at the same time, I feel there is something or someone that you guys are really um, contemplating putting in the effort with or putting your effort into something here. Okay, could be a different relationship, could be the same relationship that um, you have left from or something from the past. Okay, let's see. Underlying issue for you guys here. All right. Okay, <laughs> there we have it. That Ace of Pentacles. You feel an opportunity, I feel. Okay, I'm feeling a strong opportunity and it definitely could be a financial opportunity for a lot of you. Um, I'm, I'm getting that there, there's a legacy, there's something that you're, you're wanting to solidify. Okay, now as far as a relationship is concerned, I'm feeling that there is an opportunity that has presented itself 
and really and truly you guys were trying to figure out should I take this should I explore this new relationship or renew this old connection even that is an underlying issue should you expand upon this opportunity that has presented itself let's see what was going on in the recent past for my Leo's the page of wands new interest mm hmm you guys have a new interest in something something someone okay and you're feeling excited about it you're wanting to take action on it but it's still in the planning stages because there again this is a page um, this is like the initial um, beginnings of something here okay could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius individual that is significant to some of you let's see what your crowning thoughts are Leo's crowning thoughts uh, ace of wands another ace you're ready you're ready to start something new this is something I feel like that is new for you okay and what I mean by that is like how you're viewing it it could be um, a relationship or a situation that you want to revisit from the past but you're looking at it through a new set of lenses I feel okay and I definitely get there's an eagerness to start something new anxious energy what's coming in for my Leo's King of Pentacles hmm now we've gone from the nine of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles either this is the person that you are possibly wanting to start something new with whether male or female um, this person is very controlled okay the this person is a family person very supportive um, they probably make good money even if they don't make great money this person is very stable very grounded very family oriented okay um, this is somebody that you can lean on that's going to be there for you regardless okay for those of you who this um, you know this is like your finances this is you guys building yourself up um, establishing your legacy the ace of Pentacles and a nine of Pentacles is a ten of Pentacles the ace of Pentacles and the seven of Pentacles is the eight of Pentacles so you're building you're you're working on your legacy and I see you guys reaching your full potential here okay very good energy you guys again we have Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here feeling strong Taurus Virgo energy okay let's see how you guys are viewing this situation oh here we go the <laughs> ten of Pentacles for some of you guys because a king this is a person that is settled and married for some of you this is a, a relationship that you can see spending the rest of your life with this person and them not going anywhere and you not going anywhere either okay this is your legacy right here this ten of pentacles you see this you see this some of you have um, a financial windfall coming your way in the month of June okay and it may not be it may not be the, a bulk of money like you would think but it's definitely the beginning stages of you acquiring the status um, the financial stability the the relational stability that you guys are seeking that that situation where you're comfortable you're happy and you're secure you're stable Wow, a lot of earth energy, a lot of grounded energy, but at the same time, it's grounded and stable, but it's also it's got that spark, that energy that you guys are seeking here. What is the influence here for my Leos? 
the moon. <sighs> you know, with all the other cards here, what this is telling me is that there's somebody. For a lot of you, this is all about a, a love interest, um, a committed relationship that you are wanting to invest in, to grow, to build that legacy here. This is a marriage for some of you. This is a long-term relationship for others of you where these feelings are mutual. There's some very deep feelings here. The only thing is, I don't feel like you guys have shared this or the other person has not shared this with you. You guys don't really know how they truly feel and they don't really know how you guys truly feel because the moon represents things unknown. But the moon is also representative of very deep emotional feelings and attachment emotionally for someone. Could be a cancer. Could be a mother. The moon also represents mothers. Hmm. Could be the mother of your child. Or you guys could be a mother. But more so than that, <laughs> these these waters run deep right here is what this is, this moon energy. And that is what's influencing you guys for this month. Your hopes or fears. Leo's hopes or fears. That card one to stay out. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is a fear that hanged me in, is that it will be a no-go. That this situation will be stagnant. That you won't be able to get it off the ground the way that you want it to. Or that this person's not going to be all in with you. Or vice versa, if this is the other person feeling this way. Hmm. Piscean Cancer Energy. I'm feeling like this, almost like, you guys are anxious about this, but at the same time, you're really not sure how this person feels. You're really not sure if this person is going to put in the same amount of effort that you are putting in here. Or that you're wanting to put in. Like you, you don't know if they will open themselves up to meet you halfway. If they'll want to start something new with you. If they'll see the same potential that you see. Hmm. What is it overall for my Leos? Six of Swords. I feel this is definitely um, somebody from your past. And you see all that water that these people are on? This is air energy, Aquarius energy, more specifically. But this is bridging the gap. This is moving on. Okay, this is you and the person that you're thinking about discussing things, talking things out, communicating to each other what it is that you want. Um, if there's something that you feel like you could or felt like you couldn't get over in the past, or there were there were some obstacles in your way, this is both of you guys moving on together towards this new start. Look at this. Look at this moving right towards that new start. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. After we clarify some things with the Six of Swords energy and we talk about this, like I'm all in is what I'm hearing. This is stepping out on faith and not being afraid that the other party is not going to meet you halfway. This is stepping out on faith, taking the opportunities that are um, presenting themselves. 
okay so we have Aquarius Pisces cancer energy I feel strong Taurus um, Capricorn Virgo is here maybe another uh, fire sign like you guys Leo uh, even Aries I'm feeling Leo or Aries energy is here especially with the page of wands Aries is the first it's the baby of the zodiac so um, quite possibly an Aries is here so that's what I have for you guys and I'll be speaking with you guys soon bye now